What is good? We're back. Got a little super flex ADP review. Gonna hop through top 50, top 80 or so. What's changed? What's kind of staying consistent? Some spots we like, some spots we don't like. Not gonna get too deep into the woods here. Just trying to keep a finger on the pulse of uh, values in the dynasty and super flex arena here. So, got Jay Wayne. We're ready to, to hop in here. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. If you're listening on the podcast, let me get a five-star review, please, for you, for our pleasure. Go over to RevelryBrewingCo.com. Copy your boys' fresh, soft t-shirt. Rep your boys. Tell your friends, man. I know you don't want to, but do it. Do it. Yeah, all those ways, good ways to support uh, the show. If you're not already a Patreon member, you can be there for a month for $5 or, you know, as long as you want for $5 a month. You get Discord podcast trade stuff we got all sorts of stuff going on over there uh so if you want to find another way to support us you can uh monetarily throw some cash at us holler at your boys so uh we got dlf uh superflex adp here just came out um so we're going to uh run through through that and see what's changed what stays the same what we like and what we don't like let's do it let's get it rolling so the first round one through 12 uh we got josh allen uh, Mahomes, Herbert, Kyler Murray, Taylor at five, Lamar at six, Joe Burrow at seven, Chase at eight, Dak at nine, Deshaun at 10, Justin Jefferson at 11, and Kyle Pitts rounding out the first round at 12. Now, uh, you know, not any real substantial movement here. Everyone kind of stayed the same. It's pretty easy in, in a six or five draft model here to jockey these guys around a pick or two uh so not a whole lot to to talk about there right which for those of you listening on the podcast if you go over to the youtube channel we'll show you how it's how adp has changed from last month uh to this month the only things that i can see is i'd rather have joe burrow than i'd probably take joe burrow at fourth overall in a super flex I know you don't necessarily feel that way, but that that's what I would do. And no, then I feel I actually kind of like that top six. I think I think Deshaun has to move up, but I actually, you know, it's kind of in a holding pattern with Deshaun because you are going to probably miss some time. But yeah, I mean that's to be expected, though. I right. mean I, I think he's a top five quarterback, so I'm hoping that he could stay near the end of the first and and start up so I can I can snag some Deshaun. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm definitely taking Deshaun over Dak. Um, I'd probably move Dak down a little bit, but you know who else are you really going to go with there, outside of that top? So uh, there's the that's the first round. Um, like I said, no no crazy things going on there. So let's jump to the second round, uh, pick thirteen overall. You got your first real big jump. Uh, Jalen Hurts climbs up from twenty five, so he was like top of the third round to the top of the second round. So a full round of movement. It's a lot. It's too much. Hurts. It's hot. Um, I, I don't guess. think I can do that, although I mean he's he's been great as far as a fantasy quarterback for you. How how long does it necessarily last? I guess we're throwing those arguments out the window for now. And and if you're I, I'm not gonna pull the trigger there. Um probably can't do that. And then Cooper Cup pretty much does the exact same thing, goes from twenty six to fourteen. Uh, probably not doing that either. Uh, yeah. so I would I would definitely take Russell Wilson over Jalen Hurts. Yeah, got to. Um, I'm a, I'm actually a, a little on board with Cooper Cup. I mean, you're gonna get top production for like two years. You're gonna have a, a potential yeah. league winner on your team. You know, I, we make the same arguments for running backs. He scored more points than all the running backs last year yeah, by, a, by a lot. So that's gonna be a pass for me. That's, yeah, uh, I, I don't think I can do it either. I understand it a little little more. It's too much recency bias. There's they got Allen Robinson and and company over there kind of mm-hmm. coming in there so I, I just i can't see cooper cup replicating what he did he'll still be just fine Digression. still be pretty good but no no way i'm in a startup am i going that high redraft put him in the first round do 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 you um but yeah dynasty wise uh can't do that so uh, russell i'd take over jalen uh cd bounces up a couple spots he was down a little bit almost out of the second round in the last month this month he's at 16 so reestablishing himself and then you got swift harris uh cmc um so all those guys kind of staying pretty much the same jumping around a little bit Najee jumped up a couple spots um but 
kind of all hanging around. I'm, I'm pretty much fine with that. Uh, then Trevor Lawrence at 20 seems a little high, but I mean, you, you're all of a sudden you're in the super flex startup and you're like, I need a quarterback and who am I going to take? I guess if you wanted to say, Hey, let me go Stafford over uh, T law. I guess I couldn't necessarily argue with you. Uh, but I think, I think if there's any value dip on T law, I'm buying the dip. I'm, I'm getting in on, on Lawrence if I can. Doesn't appear to be here, but no, I'm these, sure some people are these a little more out Twitter on ADP Lawrence. mocks don't represent the way that people feel like about him in the real world. They're down on the Jags. They're down on him. They hate Christian Kirk. They hate the moves they made. There's nothing over there that could be any good, and, and they're down. So yeah. I think in your real world leagues, you can get a discount on Trevor Lawrence right now. I'm buying the dip. I think the head coach is good for – Good for Lawrence, and I like. I kind of like the moves that they made. They shouldn't have paid as much as they did, but they kind of had, had to. to. So had to. Um, and you didn't need to pay that much for Zay Jones, but whatever. Um, then there goes Stafford and Javante. So we got a little Melvin news in there. Uh, dropped him down a couple of spots. Only five though. Um, and, and you know this. This is May twenty first. The ADP just came out within the last few days it's always a little bit delayed superflex even more delayed than the regular 1 QB ADP and the news about Melvin signing could have been in the middle of this or after right. this happened so so he's hanging on to the fringe second round he could he could drop out of there i you know by in next month's ADP and just be still hanging around right at the end of the second early third but i think in most drafts that that i'm in I'm, i've been seeing him go um, firmly in the second round uh, for the most part, so probably won't stay out of there. There's Trey Lance. He's moved down a good bit. I probably still can't pull that trigger there. I know he's a top draft pick. I love the landing spot and where he is. Um, I'm just, that's going to be one that I'm going to have to take the wait and see in a startup. I just can't do it. I'll pay the price. Yeah, we've already got him in a bunch of rookie leagues. Like right. We made the moves to get him where we could when we needed to. And we have him in some super flex and even one QB league. Uh, just sitting down on a taxi squad, waiting for something amazing to happen. Take him near, you know, somewhere in that second round last year, and, and I have enough of him that I I can't one, reach four. up to get him in in a startup super yeah, flex. Yeah, I'm probably not going down that road right here. Seems like plenty of other people are. He's at least dropped down a little bit. Uh, then Devonte Adams rounds out the second round. Uh, he came up six spots to get into that second round. You know, got got Derek Carr thrown to him, who's up a little bit, I believe, in this. ADP, so um, a lot of I'm, respect. I'm certainly, you know, end of the second round. Uh, you know, I guess I could get into a little, uh, a little Devonte Adams there. I guess that you like that better than end of the f start of the f second round, Cooper Cup. Yeah, I would rather have. I'd rather see Devonte in the third round. Yeah. Um. Then, I, then I'm starting to, you know. Which is in the mocks that we've been doing in Patreon, he does get pushed down a little bit more into the third round area. Uh, so 30 would probably be where I like Devontae a little better. And then Mark Andrews, uh, this is not tight end premium, uh, but right. so, you know, Mark Andrews probably be. probably in the second round in tight end premium. Um, so he's right there in this one. And then A.J. Brown uh, down a couple spots from Tennessee to Philadelphia. Um, A.J. Brown or Devontae Adams? Um, I think I still am going AJ Brown. Yeah, even with the rickety knees. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't you've love coin that. You're the ones throwing love, a little bit of shade at AJ Brown for those knees. I don't love Hurts and, and being able to, to facilitate. A, yeah. you know, a high volume. But who knows? Um, I, can, I can see taking. I could so. take Devonte. I guess. Then Aaron Rodgers in the in the third. I can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> I mean, I, I think you can. I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with it. You're getting, a, a, you know, a locked-in starter probably for, is old. for two more years. Maybe. Um, Who the fuck knows with this man? Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's pretty – I think if he's if he deems himself with the skill level to still play, I think he's playing. I don't think he's just walking away. Like, he's kind of said That's that all just in a, a ploy? Of, well, he's, a he's, ploy? he's as much as said that in some interviews where – like he wants to play for as long as he thinks he can play. Like it's not, he just doesn't want to necessarily walk away. Uh, I but, just don't but trust don't about Aaron Rodgers. I'm probably not making that move in the third round, but I can, I can, I can understand it a little bit. Uh, that you're again, you need the, probably your second quarterback or maybe your first. I just am uh, not. I, I got to get one in the first and second. Yeah. 
Depends. Depends on how they fall. Then I'm um, going to wait. I got to get one in the first or second right. round. So and then would be I'll Aaron, wait. Aaron Rodgers in the third. Could, I can't do it. Could be okay if you're, you know, you're probably building to try to win right now. It's not. Right. But you, you I just, I, there's so many things can happen over the course of the season. I, I'm not going to build my dynasty to win right now and start up ADP. Obviously, I'm, I'm down to, I, I want to win right now and I'm, I'm going to try and win right now, but I'm, I'm not taking Aaron Rodgers in the top of the third. All right, fair enough. You're not taking Cooper Cup in the top of the second. I can't take Aaron Rodgers in the top of the third. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm gonna get more third. than one or two yeah. years out of Cooper Cup. You don't know that. Um, so, I mean, barring some freak accident, Aaron Rodgers is already cast out in the minds of dynasty owners. Maybe so. Quarterback, much more important position than receiver, though. So, I mean, when you're scoring as much as, as far quarterback as, and more than all the running backs, as far as you know, what what you need in a in a startup, you know, you're Aaron Rodgers is going to facilitate a big need for you in in that area. Whereas, you know, top of the second round, plenty of wide receivers to go around. Top of the second round, super flex, Cooper Cup is steep. You're right. You need a quarterback. Um, I'm not necessarily saying Saying I would go Rodgers, um, but I can I can sort of understand it and 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 be ready to win. You're you're going all in. You're, You're probably trading some rookie picks. And trying to just get the best roster you can and try to win in the next two years with with a Raj, then he has lost some weapons. We don't we don't really know. So probably yeah, I'm probably I, I don't not, even I'm trying to figure out what that. even probably he finished last year as like Saquon Barkley at 28. I'm 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 in on Saquon. I'll, I'll I'll jump in on that on that value. I'm I'm totally down to ride with Saquon one more go around. There's not a whole lot of competition over there. In New York, the offensive line should be getting better. We were favorable with with Dayball and maybe correcting a little bit of this offense. And Barkley, the talent is is tremendous. They're going to use it to adv- to their advantage. I, I I'm in on Barkley again. Brees Hall at 29, the rookie. Um, I guess you kind of got to be just from an age and talent standpoint. It's the Jets, but we we like to think that what's coming for the Jets uh, offense is a nice little zone scheme and and Brees can. Do some damage in there. Debo at 30. He didn't really – he kind of actually dropped two places, I guess. But it's semantics there. He followed the, um, he followed a, the Niners back on Instagram and social media. So, he's back in the game, baby. Right. Eckler at 31. Sure, I guess. I mean, if you're going to take Debo, you can take Eckler. Then, I mean, then we get to Justin Fields and Tua and – it doesn't feel great taking. Let me get to a doesn't over take, fields. Doesn't baby. take feel good taking fields in the third round. Uh, it there's doesn't. Just, there's a lot of kind of unknown there. I, it's, I'm not a Justin Fields hater by any means, but I wasn't super high on him coming in. So it's easy for me. Like if he falls down, I know it's just like a round, but if he gets into the middle of the fourth, now it feels a little bit different. But st- still, there's just a lot of unproven things around there, and you know, I want I want Tua. To be fall down to that to that middle end of fourth, fifth, to be able to try to get him. Tua's which got is, too many weapons now to not feel like you should take the gamble right. on Tua. You right. know, whereas Fields is losing weapons. Like they didn't add hardly any. They Velas Jones is right. the only thing they fucking gave Justin Fields. A Rob's gone. They don't want to win. They they just got a whole new organization coming in there with new coaching staff and everything and like that. They're not trying to compete this year. I read something about yeah, how they just, got a lot of like high at, cap guys off one, their roster. You can't and, look at one year though. It's dynasty for true. you know and fields will probably be with a baseline be startable. And and I don't feel like he's even if he has a bad year, he's not losing his job. I don't think they're gonna draft another quarterback next year because they you know, were unless, bad this unless year. Unless they feel some type of way about Justin Fields, which we don't know, and you could say, Hey, well, they must not like Justin Fields because they're not giving him any help. I think you know, probably not going to be the best Bears season ever. It's um, not. Yeah, and, but Justin Fields will probably be startable in fantasy just because he can run around. And If they let him run. I they didn't know. let him run too much last year, it felt like. He, he ran enough, and he's his legs are good enough, and his yeah. arm's good enough. We just Can he develop, and, and will they give him enough help? Like you said, two is more fun right now, but it feels like it's a one-year show if Tua can do it or not. So, I mean, in the same breath where you're saying – you got to take, you know, you can't take Justin Fields because the Bears are going the opposite direction. I mean, shit, if Tua doesn't perform here to up to up to standards, all of a sudden you're probably looking at a another quarterback in Miami and and the value of Tua probably plummeting. But I, I'm kind of with you. I would I, I would almost rather take the shot on Tua 
really improving his stock, but I would I would like both him and Fields to be down around or so. Um, Only two games for Fields last year over 50 yards rushing. Decent straight facts stat there, but uh, he also didn't play them all. And right, was also a rookie. So and there was some 45s and stuff. I was just yeah, yeah it was a decent stat. Um, maybe not a decent stat. It was a stat. Tua, you're right. If Tua fucks up this year, he's probably not going to be the starting quarterback next year because he has to succeed with what they gave him. If he can't succeed with all these dudes, then he's not going to – He's not. it's not going to work out. So he is on a one-year trial deal, right? Justin Fields doesn't have – you can't say that about Justin Fields. So his almost long-term – job feels a little more safe but Tua is the gamble Tua is the because if he does do what he did back in like 2018 and it's not to from say, Alabama when he had a bunch of studs around him and he threw what like 44 touchdowns and three interceptions or something crazy like that like maybe it was like 40 and four or some ridiculous touchdown in the interception ratio just wiling out 4,000 plus yards just had a ridiculous season with a bunch of talent around him and now he's got that good scheme bunch of talent ready to take let's go Tua Tua, maybe maybe if this is is any ADP that's indicative to your leagues, maybe maybe you try to see what you can do for Justin Fields and Tua. See if you can if you can get out out of those guys and, and sell for a uh, lower quarterback plus something. Um, if it doesn't feel like this is indicative, feels like their value is lower than that. IRL. Um, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. But uh, all right. So then there's T at. 34 T. Higgins. Uh, he's up a couple spots so i mean I'm never, even with the shoulder surgery we're gonna be upset about that Diggs, nice jump there from 48 to 35 um, must be because he got signed to a bigger deal more long-term but deal. i mean if you're gonna if you're gonna draft Devonte and those other guys up there give me Diggs too baby Diggs at um, least has like one year on Devonte. dk metcalf rounding out your third round he sneaks right in there he was right outside of it last uh month so DK seems like a decent value right now. I'd be, I'd, I'd buy some DK if, if I could. Yeah, I mean, if they do sign Baker or Jimmy, then that value's he's probably going to go up some. And and Pete Carroll's eighty hundred years old. <sighs> they don't want to rebuild. They don't want to go into the season with Drew Lock. They're just waiting, right? They got to get one they of those seem, guys. They seem okay going into the season with Geno. So of course it's not Drew Lock, right? Geno's now like. And, and Gino played okay, right? Oh, Gino was Gino was you, in the kitchen. Said, you, they were letting him cook. You tweeted something like quarterbacks a, or Russell Wilson's a, a system quarterback or something. System, well, yeah. <laughs> and that man's on the salad station. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Joe Mixon is starting the top of the uh, fourth here. I'm I'm down with that. Jalen Waddle, I like that. Derek Carr, way up, getting respect. Um, what he, if he was at fifty? What if uh, the Browns trade for Kareem Hunt? I, I read something about that when we, we just had John Browns Bauer trade on. away Kareem Hunt. Right. What if the Bengals trade for Kareem Hunt? I, when when we had John Bauer, I don't on, know why they would do that in division. We're working on this uh, industry rookie mock with a bunch of different podcasts, and we had John Bauer on from the Dynasty Theory, and he he said there were some rumors that Kareem Hunt might not even be there twenty two. So I was like, I didn't, I hadn't heard that. I googled like Kareem Hunt news recent. And the first thing that came up was like someone proposing a trade from, which they don't trade that often, right? The Browns and the Bengals because they are in division. But they were saying it could help, you know, the the Bengals need to take some load off of Joe Mixon a little bit, have a good change of pace. No. 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 It's not happening. Uh. Uh-uh. Mm. No. <laughs> Jalen Waddle is next <laughs> in line here. <laughs> Um, and I'm down with that value. Let me let me get that. He drops five spots from last month. Let's let's go, Jalen Waddle. I like some Jalen Waddle in the third. I'm down with that. Um, you know that's top of the th- or top of the fourth mm-hmm. there. Yep. Let me sign me up. Let me get that. Four uh, two. Derek Carr gets some respect at f- from fifty to thirty nine. So he's up some spots. He gets signed. He gets Devonte. Derek this, Carr. This is just where this is where I feel right like Tua and Fields, you know, should start should kind of shuffling in below him, maybe a little bit even. Um, yeah, because when can we you had, take Derek Carr that high as as, as he, when we had Troy you almost King have on, to, and I feel I feel okay about it. We we put Derek up against Tua and Fields, and and I think he stuck with Fields because of the rushing ability, and then 
and then it was it was a question with Tua and Derek Carr. And I want to say you took Carr. Can I take Carr at the top of the fourth in a super flex? I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to do that. I'd, I'd rather yeah, be. Yeah, but it's that point where you start looking around and you're like, all right, well, who's if I – if I need a second, who's going to be my second? Is it going to be Carr? And if I need a first, who's going to be my first? And, well, I, and I'll mind it to be Carr. So you're kind of in a spot where, you where it's starting to... You fucked up if to, Carr needs to be your first. I mean, Absolutely. A, if you don't have a quarterback yet, a, you have to take Carr. I'm right okay there. with Carr being You my have first. to take Carr in the fourth if you haven't taken a quarterback yet. You absolutely have to do that. Uh, I don't want that jump. to have to be what my second. Jump. I don't want jump. that to have to be my second. It's only 11 oh, spots. It's a whole round. I'm saying just in general. Like yeah. Derek Carr was like a... Oh, you he's know. in bliss. He's he couldn't have been. He was a double digit been a better round off season. At, you couldn't imagine a better off season for yourself. You get one of the best wide receivers in the league come over, and you get a big pay raise and a long term extension and and a new head coach that isn't John Gruden and. Yeah, I mean, I like I, I like I like Carr situation. I like I like Carr as a player, getting some respect. Sucks that you have to spend this much on him, but I'm I'd be okay with him being my one or two. Uh, so that's. You know, I would like to see it drop down just a little bit and then two infields fall behind him, I think. Uh, But, you know, let's go. Nick Chubb, 40. Kind of a lot of hate on Nick Chubb right now. Um, That's some respect. That's higher than I guess I thought it would be. Yeah, that's not not terrible. Uh, We just did a a draft, and I'm trying to see where he fell to. Um, Yeah, I kept passing on him because I wanted to see where he would fall to. You gotta go over to the completed oh, five twelve, so uh, basically like the six round. So yeah, that's fell fell a good bit, and he does feel pretty disrespected. This feels like a little bit extra respect uh, on his name here, but uh, he goes at forty. Derrick Henry forty one, Kelsey at forty two, Mac Jones at forty three, uh, Dalvin Cook at forty four, Zach Wilson forty five, Tyreek Hill forty six, Dobbins forty seven, and rounding it out. Kirk D. Cousins. So when you see Zach Wilson go off at forty five and Kirk go off at forty eight, you feel much better about Derek Carr at thirty nine. Well, you're right? like I'm I'm also hoping like in, in all the drafts that I've been doing, all those kind of quarterbacks seem to fall down another half a round or so. And I like if Kirk can fall another round where yeah, I can, well, where I can pick up Kirk in the sixth or seventh round. Which Kirk fell to six three in this mock we did with the Pleasure Chesters over at Patreon.com slash GF of Dynasty. Zach Wilson went at five four. So they both did get pushed down. They're not up this high. I'm probably not taking Zach Wilson and I got a real hard time taking Mac Jones right there. Um but is yeah. what it is. Dalvin seemingly getting Mac Jones went one pick before Kirk Cousins. I took him at six two as my second quarterback in this in this startup super flex we did. Yeah. Mock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm probably all those guys get all those quarterbacks probably need to drop for me. Um I like taking the shot on Dobbins. Um Tyreek right Tyreke there. Tyreek falling from 34 to 46. That's appealing, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm I, in. I agree. All right. Dobbins, big draft for Dobbins. Yeah. Big I mean, offseason. Nada. Zilch, just Tyler Beatty, and he's getting no respect. They just signed somebody, didn't they? I, I think. Um, but it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> I I love it. I love it, it for Dobbins wasn't Sony Michelle. Or- um, so that's that's good to see. I'm... I'm Got a lot of stock in Dobbins, so so let's go. And then Mike Davis, uh, Mike Davis, yeah. Uh, so not a real threat. Uh, DJ Moore coming in, starting the next round out. Um, Still in on DJ Moore? You taking oh, DJ I'm Moore? Oh, I'm 100 in on. Right yeah, now? yeah, 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 yeah. Let me DJ get Moore, him. Deontay Johnson. I love that. I love that. Uh, flip a coin. Travis Etienne. Uh, Et probably. Yeah. Cam Akers. Uh, I'm probably trying to sell Cam Akers if he's respected this much. Kenneth Walker. Um, Give me Kenny. Give me that RB. Uh, yeah, that's a Kenny. All right, keep going. DJ Moore, 49. He's the first pick in the fifth round. Kamara then goes. Tommy. Then Tommy. That's too high for Tommy for me. Um, Which what's the difference between Tommy and Aaron Rodgers? You think Tom, it's forty five versus thirty nine? I mean, well, that's a big difference of of age and a human. Uh, Tom's still playing well. I mean, probably shouldn't be that much of a difference, I guess. But I mean, if if Aaron Rodgers plays until he's forty four, well, then that's then a that's huge a difference. Fucking steal, it. right? 
Right. But, Which is possible. Like, I mean, he's in the Tom Brady mold. He, if he wants to play for that long and his skills are still where Tom's is and him and the coach are in good standing and they can have a contract where he feels like he's respected, then Aaron Rodgers, then Aaron did Rodgers learn, can play for as long as he wants, I he think. He did learn from Brett Favre, who started the retirement talks seven years too early, right. I think. So. so, I mean, it's. I feel like, I don't know, I guess maybe – Let's see where Tom went in this uh, draft here. He had to have dropped a decent amount. There he is at 6, no, 8-3. Eight, 8-3. Three. Eight, three. So that's a good difference between yeah, there and there. Yeah, that's much more palpable. Right. He and goes, palatable. Is, is that right? Which one is which? Palatable is like. Palpable? Uh, that's, I don't think that, I don't believe that's the <laughs> correct word. <laughs> the tea leaves are on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tommy, then Deontay. So if you want to, if you want to say Deontay over DJ Moore, I don't really understand why Deontay had a big drop. He went from forty to fifty-two. Um, a I, feeling or atmosphere so intense right. as to seem almost that'd be like tangible, the, that'd, palpable. That's it. That, that'd be like the energy in the stadium was palpable. Like so could, intense, it seems almost like you could, tangible. You could feel it. So it's not it's not swallowable, which is what palatable is. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're 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 figuring something out tonight. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Travis Etienne's probably a buy for me at 53. Deontay Johnson, a buy for me. DJ Moore, a buy for me. Uh, and Drake London, getting some, some respect right there. Kenny Walker, um, don't hate that. And then David Montgomery, getting some respect on his name. Moving and all, up all a he whole does is round. Well, no, they didn't take any running back. Score your fantasy points, but there then, was no draft. There was no draft that fucked them up. Then Tannehill here, which in my experience is Tannehill's been in you know a few rounds after this. How did he move up three picks when they drafted Malik Willis? I don't Willis? think anybody's necessarily considering that. It's just the one year deal makes you a little hesitant. And Tannehill's been, you know, was really good. A little slip up last year, but still was okay at times. And and then, you know, just really nobody to throw to. So. Um, Probably not taking Tannehill at that point. Uh, then George Kittle comes in there. Maybe some value there. If this is tight end premium, he's going before that. Um, Scary Terry up next at 60. Uh, so some decent Hold, value holding there. Holding strong, even though they took Jahan Dotson in the first round. Pittman slotting in there nicely at 61, getting some Matty Ice uh, love. And then James Winston at, 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 at 63. That, that seems seems aggressive. But, so now we're into the what is this the sixth round? Yeah, Pittman starting. I think we've basically round. said it with all of these quarterbacks. I'd like to see it be another round down. Um, and, you know, I don't hate the shot on Jameis, but it just seems like if fucking Godwin and Burks and all those like I got to take those guys over Jameis right now. Like, yeah, this um, is way too high for Jameis. He was eighty two last month. Jumps up twenty spots, I guess, because they didn't take a quarterback in the draft. Added Olave, signed. Uh, Jarvis Landry, so I mean... Godwin continuing to fall? Yeah, I'll, give me that. I love that. Yeah, and then so Burks, Aaron Jones, starting to come into a time where you might consider picking Aaron Jones? You can't you can't trade Aaron Jones for Traylon Burks in a rookie draft. No, probably not. You probably can't move Aaron Jones for 1-4, one, 1-5, one, one, Well, Would you rather take Kenny Pickett or Aaron Jones? And a super flex? And, yeah. Kenny Pickett. Okay. Because I can, I can turn Kenny Pickett into something better than Aaron Jones. That that's inflated value for Aaron. You think so? I don't think so. I think that's probably right on right on par. I guess, man. It just it just comes back to how long do you think Aaron Rodgers is going to play? I guess Aaron Jones does have a decent amount of money on his contract, so I think he's pretty much there for two more years. A little bit. He's he's got nine point five dead in twenty three and five point six dead in twenty four, which you know, yeah, they can restructure this I shit. I think they already did. Maybe. Since since we wrote that, that's pretty Possibly. recent. But uh I I just he he's kinda old. They got Dylan there. Doesn't feel great right there. If I already have Aaron Jones on my team, I'm super pumped that the situation stayed where it is. I think it just depends on what how you're drafting. What are you doing? Because, like if you took Aaron Rodgers earlier and you and you're when you got a, a certain build of a team then Aaron Jones right there is probably going to be that's going to be great fantasy points in your lineup when Aaron Jones plays he's been really fucking good and they're down receivers Aaron Jones could be just 
absurd this year. Strong running um, scheme. And 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 him and Dylan could both be good. So I, I guess I don't hate it. It's just like if you're if you're all youth and you're 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 you know just drafting younger guys, then maybe you stay away from Aaron Jones. But, or if you're zero RB and you get you get your RB one there in the sixth well, that's, round, that's that's kind of what I'm saying. Guess, yeah. You built a you built a, a a stronger team that's ready to, that he thinks ready to go right now, and then the Aaron Jones. You know, it get, like now we're starting to get into an area with some running backs that it's like, all right, this is whereas last year I didn't love what was going on. And now we're starting to get into an area where some of these guys are pushed down a little bit and you can get some value on some running back. That'll probably be pretty solid for you, which um, in this super flex rookie mock we did with the patrons, I took Mac Jones at six two, Aaron Jones goes at six five. Mac Jones is my RB or quarterback two. And I could have used a running back there. I had Kenneth Walker and Antonio Gibson before that. I didn't even really consider Aaron Jones, and I took Mac Jones. Yeah. And some people it's are taking. Easy, it's easy not to consider Aaron Jones, mm-hmm. but he, he is probably going to put pretty solid points in your lineup week to week. Um, so it's like and I've been. Pick, I've been picket I've been, falls been, off the board five picks later after Aaron. Jones. I've been kind of so. looking at it like you know, there's there's guys that I don't even consider, and I've been trying to go back and kind of reconsider and rethought process because Aaron Jones probably isn't that guy for me either. But I mean, really, you got it. You probably do need to reconsider depending on how you you feel like you're constructed uh, through this startup process. So then there's Keenan Allen at 67, Garrett Wilson 68, Gibson at 69, Mike Evans at 70. Jamison Williams at 71 and Amari Cooper at 72. Um, Jamison or Amari? Um, it feels like Amari's probably the right the right call because he'll probably be good for short term and okay long term. But Deshaun's not going to be there for part of the year or something. All of it. It's really maybe? hard to not think that that Jamison Williams is the the longer. It's hard better not to play, but you know Amari Cooper. Is it Amari rookie Cooper, is it you know rookie Amari fever? Because I want to take good. Jameson. You know Amari Cooper's going to be good when when healthy, and if he can stay healthy, and him and Winston are going to be or Watson are going to be. Uh, if you great, if, if you took over an orphan and you rebuild, I'd rather have Amari over Evans and Keenan Allen. Yeah, ah. I know I'm gonna get strong production from Keenan for another. Oh, you're gonna get years. you're gonna get strong production from Evans, Evans as long as Tommy's around. I think I would take both of those guys over Amari Cooper. Yeah, I think yeah. I'd be fine with that. But but Amari or Jameson, if you're rebuilding, you got to take Jameson, right? Oh, I mean, I'm sure. I guess. Like the, the, nobody, over the value thing. just seems down on Amari Cooper, so that even if he does come out and crush, I don't think too many people will get back on and Jameson Williams. If he does um, anything, if he catches one long just ball. just feels like public and experts right. alike are all just kind of like over Amari Cooper. So, right. I mean, points in your lineup are always a good thing, though. So All right. Well, I don't think I have any more of the ADP correct. Like, well, I don't have it full out, which we would, you know, usually we go top 50. We just right. did we're, 72. We're, we're way down pleasure. there. But Bateman's, you got any rookie stuff you want to get to? or well, Bateman's right there, so I think he's okay. interesting. Hollywood Brown's right there. He's interesting. Um, They're next 73, to 74. Top uh, of the seventh round there. I don't I don't dislike that. Um, and then Zeke, way down there at 84, we're in that Aaron Jones territory where I uh, fucking give me Zeke. Let let's fucking go. Like Which he's not at 84. He's on 84 on our list. He's actually 92 in ADP, which is even better for your pleasure, right? Um because I don't the way I have it up here, I May for ADP is ninety two. Um, I gotcha. I don't have all of it out. I didn't map out the top 100. Right. So 92 is at, even but, better. Give me right. Give me uh, Zeke all day at that price tag. Uh, I think that's again talking about a team build. That's we're getting some guys down, push down lower. That I don't need to be sweating the running back position necessarily if I don't want to, and forcing it if it doesn't fall to me because there are options on the back of this that can absolutely help you win. Right. Josh Jacobs and, at 88 is fantastic. And I think Zeke is is one of those guys. Which he dropped uh, twenty eight spots on Josh Jacobs, I guess, because they declined the fifth year option. But it's not like he's gonna be dead, even if he's not a Raider next year. Yeah, he's a good fucking back. Yeah, got us a championship last year. Traded two seconds for Josh Jacobs. Brought home the the dub with Monty, David Montgomery and yeah, but I mean Joe Burrow, baby. I think I think Zeke's a just a screaming value right now, man. And if you're if you're on they a team, they can't get out of his contract. They have to play him. 
He was and good he was when he was healthy. He was RB6 last year, and he was banging the fuck up. Right. No one gives him any credit for playing hurt and being oh, still just, productive. There's like, hate they on him. They fucking hate him. Let him push him down and put him on your team. And if you're if you're the if you're the team that's had him on there, you probably can't sell Ezekiel Elliott for for too much anymore. Uh, doesn't doesn't seem. Although maybe he gets rolling in season and somebody's trying to win a championship and needs a back, and and you can. Try to cash out. He on goes the value. at seven six in this mock right at right before Clyde Edwards Alaire. Right. And after so Josh Jacobs. There's uh there's all the veterans, and then I just got a couple other rookies on this list. Olave's at eighty two, um Sky Moore's at ninety seven, James Cook's at ninety eight. <laughs> um so uh some guys around James Cook, obviously Sky Moore we just talked about, but Clyde Edwards Alaire, Mike Williams, Miles Sanders. St. Brown, Zeke, Juju, Judy. Um, I think I'd probably take all those guys over James Cook. Probably so. Um, so uh, then Rashad White comes in at 112. Um, so guys around him are Dotson, and Green. Pollard, Ch- uh, Claypool, Christian Watson, Ayuk, oh, Claypool, Allen Robinson, baby. Pickens, A-Rob, Hunt. A-Rob, Pickens, yeah, all uh, those dudes over Rashad White. Gasecki. In tight end premium, yeah. Uh, but after that, it does kind of fall off a little bit. Um, David Bell's at 150. Pierce is at 153. Um, Damian Pierce is at 130, so I thought that was a little interesting. Ritter at 135. Zamir at 149, so above Alec Pierce and McBride. This obviously isn't tight end premium. Um, so uh, all those guys are kind of hanging around. Brian Robinson's down at 168, pretty low. Uh, TDP, Ty Davis Price, 60, 162. Algier, lower than all those guys at 171. So that seems like pretty decent value on Algier, even though it's, he's not been my favorite guy. But as as we've had these guys on the industry mock that, you've, that you'll see here uh, soon, you know, I found there is it- availability for a flip of some sort to, to, you know, probably there's a chance and a path to a potential flip there for Algier. So at 171, I don't I don't dislike that. Mr. Draft Capital himself, John Bauer, was down to take him in the third round, even though he was a fifth round running back. And I'm pretty sure the percentage is like almost close to zero of those guys being any good. So that's I was like, well, I already kind of liked Algier before the draft. He got a pretty good landing spot, even though the capital wasn't good. And the draft capital man was still kind of in on him. Get some Algier, yeah, baby. The, the, the but startup, everybody wants to take him so they can flip him right away. The startup ADP is 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 decent. Um, mm. Kenny Galladay is down there at 188. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of steals to be had at the, you know, we did a 16-round draft, and I intentionally didn't take Jarvis Landry to see how far he'd fall, and no one took him, you know? Yeah, we're going to be diving into uh, some some startup stuff and, and getting in the weeds on all that kind of stuff here shortly after we get done with this industry mock and we got another guest or so. Yeah, we, um, we have 11 we're... different guests coming on to tell you about their picks in a full-round rookie Superflex mock draft. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, got a lot of good names. Got Garrett Price and uh, Don't Debro even go down the list. We're going to leave Ryan somebody McDowell out. Ryan McDowell and Troy John King Bauer and, and Troy King and Jeff King. Or Dynasty Jeff... Rewind. Um. And the Dynasty Rewind and Ryan McDowell and Jeff Bell, Jeff Bell, and uh, just a bunch of guys, David, a bunch of guys out there. Uh, so it's a lot going to be a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun doing it, just pretty time consuming. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and we'll catch you next time. Five star reviews, subscribe, t shirts at revelrybrewingcompany.com, and uh, the Patreon is always open. So holler at us. Yeah, we're going to be putting some more shows out. We're always doing mocks with them boys. Like, we're chatting it up in the Discord. It's a fun time. Come support your boys. Get 10% off if you sign up for the whole year. And it's, you know, just like-minded people. Bounce your ideas off of someone else. Get a second opinion, you know? Don't don't make a bad trade. That's all I want you to do. Just don't make a bad trade. You can make a bad trade if you want to make a bad trade. If you need really to make a bad do. trade. If you need to make a trade that isn't quite winning because you're trying to rebuild or get off of somebody then sometimes you have to take a hit but you need to know that and that's the point and then i'm okay with it but like don't just trade to trade you know don't make a bad trade because i'm here to potentially offer my opinion and then you do whatever the fuck you want to do i don't care what you do (laughs) have a good one appreciate y'all peace